Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, greetings. This is Prophet West coming back to you again. And um, I feel a blessing in my spirit. I feel as though God is going to do something big in your life in many of God's people life and this also is the fifth month which is number five is the month it is a number of grace and this is a month actually a favor 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 is God's loving kindness favor is like an aroma it's like something that's attractive it's like something that's attractive and so what I want to do is I want to speak over you and speak to you concerning what's going to happen. See, because some of you, you've been struggling a lot. And your breakthrough didn't happen at the beginning of this month. But it's going to happen at the end. It's going to happen at the end. And so prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. And God said, he spoke, he dropped this in my spirit, open up your mouth. Because your victory is in your mouth. And also command those things to come to you. The Bible tells us to call those things that be not as though they were. In other words, they were already created. They were already formed. But all you got to do is just call them out. Uh, call them out. Entitle it. Give it a name. If you need healing in your body, give it a name. If you need a miracle in your life, give it a name. If you want change in your life, Begin to speak that thing. Begin to speak it. Because as God, as the word said, God said, if you decree a thing, I am going to hasten to perform it. And see, what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm sensing, what I'm sensing a win. A win of God. And God's win is his life. God's win is his essence. God's win is his anointing. Just like with Ezekiel, when God took Ezekiel down to the valley, where there was some dry bones at it. And he told them, can they live? And Ezekiel said, God, you know. And he told them to speak to the bones. And he spoke to the bones and the bone came together. But he said to prophesy and speak to these bones and say that I'm going to put life in you. And you shall live. You shall live. You shall live. For those of you who've been going down the valley of the shadow of death, you shall live. I speak life. Because favor is upon you. Favor is upon you, just like with just like with Joseph. Joseph favor, he had a dream. But through his favor, he told his dream, but that dream, it, it put him in a pit. And from that pit, it took him to the penthouse. And at the pit house, he was blessed. And he was the number one man in charge beside the king. And so I speak to you today to decree and to speak, declare. I speak life into your life. I speak life into your situation. Your situation is going to change. Your situation is breaking right now. Your predicament is breaking right now. And every voice that's been speaking to you and speaking against you is being pulled down. It's being silenced right now. God is growing boldness in you right now. God is growing understanding in you right now. And you shall hit the target. You will hit the target. You will be blessed and not just blessed. You will become a blessing because the favor Favor is finding you. Favor is looking for you. God is saying, open up your mouth and declare and decree. And as the Bible says that God says that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God says, God said, open up your mouth and become a sound. Become an echo. And whatever, whatever, whatever your need is, the supply going to find you. Whatever need you need, it's going to supply going to find you. It's going to supply, it's going to, it's going to find you in your bedroom. It's going to find you in your car. It's going to find you in the grocery store. It's going to find you. And so God is saying to stay where you are and become a stream and make a sound. Bless his name. Begin to magnify and praise him because God abides. He dwells where praise is.